Okay, in this video we're going to talk about using the test grid. I've mentioned before that if you're going to be uploading mesh, it's a good idea to use the Second Life test grid. That way you don't get stuck paying for the uh, uploads until you get it perfect. Alright, so the steps are this. You need to log in to your dashboard on the test grid. And I will supply a URL in the comments for this video. Uh, I've trying to find that URL is incredibly difficult. It seems to be very well hidden. So when you log into your dashboard on the test grid account Go to your account, click the account, go down there and you'll see mesh upload status and then take the same test you used or had to take in order to get permission to upload mesh on the main grid. Once you get that permission, then you have to change the your viewers so that they can access the test grid. I typically use Firestorm. And for most occasions, so you have fire up, <laughs> fire up. You start Firestorm up, and you don't really even need to log in, but you hit Control P, go to Advanced, and then right there by the red arrow, enable that tick mark to allow other grids. And then you have to fiddle with this thing. And they, they should fix this. You, you change this guy here to the test grid but it leaves this thing here with your user ID at Second Life and then if you just click log in it will ignore the fact that you put that there so you have to go in and click on this user ID at Second Life and backspace over the at Second Life and erase it and then once you do that you're going to need to re-enter your normal password same as always, normal user ID, normal password uh, for the test grid here, made it and then log in. For the Second Life viewer, same thing, you issue the, um, you fire up the program. Why, why won't that go away? Huh. Oh well. Fire up the program, hit Control P, go to Advanced, and then to the Show Grid Selection at Login. And then you go over here and change it to Beta, and you will again re need to re enter your user ID and password again. And I think, I'm not sure, but you may have to exit, completely exit the program, and then re enter it before this little uh, thing will show up. Same thing for the other guy. All right, and then you can log into the test grid. When you log into the test grid, they have some kind of a mechanism. I don't know how they decide. Don't recall exactly to decide how many lindens they're going to give you. And there's ways that you can massage those numbers. Maybe I'll post another real short video to show you how to bump that up. But basically all you can do with your Lindens is use them to pay. Well, you can pay other avatars in the test grid. Or you can use it to pay for uploads, uh, mesh uploads. So like they say, what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. Same thing. What happens in the test grid stays in the test grid. You cannot export anything out of the, text, the test grid to the main grid. So you could, you know, give some money to another avatar. They can give you some gadget, put it in your inventory. Doesn't help you a bit. You can't get it out. There's also some other peculiar thing that happens on an occasions they seem to synchronize the main grid with uh, inventory with the test grid so things that you've new things that you've put in your main 
grid inventory will show up in your test grid inventory. Okay, so again, I will post a URL for this login uh, so that you can get into the thing and set up the, your dashboard there. And I will post an SURL to the sandbox that you can go to so that you can go and build things. Happy blending slash mesh. If you like this video, please subscribe and click like. Thank you. And add your comments too. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.